everyone. Welcome to another episode of Reading Rainbow, where reading is fundamental. My name is Randall Fields, and I'm your host. And today we are going to be reading The Princess and the Giant. It's a tale, a tale uh, from Scotland. Now, if there's any words you do not know, Please remember that you can always use a dictionary. If you're using a computer to read your books, there are onboard dictionaries on any computer. But a dictionary is a very handy companion. And also a thesaurus. Long ago, the king of Scotland died. His cousin, a jealous man, inherited the throne. The new king sent the widowed queen and her three daughters, to a remote country cottage. They could take one cow and their clothes with them. As for food, they would have to survive on what they could grow in their garden. The queen was hardworking and courageous. Once they were settled, she gathered her daughters. Our first job is to gather stones from the moor. We must build a wall to keep the cow out of our garden. Let's get started. Months later, the middle daughter went to the garden to get a cabbage. She ran back crying. Mother, come look. Someone has taken a whole roll of cabbages. They all rushed out to the garden. Don't be upset, daughters. Their mother said, more cabbages will grow in time. The youngest daughter looked around and said, Mother, look, there are huge boot prints by the wall. Only a giant can make such prints, cried their mother. The girls were angry about their hard work going to waste. I will stay out tonight and watch for this giant declared the eldest daughter, and that night she hid herself in the garden. As the moon rose, she saw a huge giant stepping over the wall. He bent his large body towards the ground and began to cut off cabbages. Why are you stealing our cabbages? the girl asked. The surprised giant said, What is it to you? They are ours. Leave our garden, cried the girl. The giant did leave, but first he plucked her like a flower and popped her into his sack of cabbages. Once they arrived at the giant's house, the oldest daughter climbed out of the sack. Get to work, the giant directed. Start by driving the cow to pasture. Then make the porridge and clean the wool. Later, trying to clean the wool, the girl heard a knock at the door. Who's there? she asked. A traveler in need of a bite to eat, came the reply. Leave or face the wrath of a giant, she cried. By the time the giant returned, she had ruined the wool and burned the porridge. Furiously, he tossed her into the loft. That night, the middle daughter waited up for the giant. She intended to make him give back her sister. But he spotted her, tossed her into the sack, and then picked the cabbages. By the time they arrived at his home, She was nearly smothered. He set her to work, cooking and cleaning, just like her older sister. She made a mess of it. He tossed her into the loft, where the sisters hugged each other in relief. That night, the giant found the youngest daughter sitting on the garden wall. Good evening, giant, she said. I am ready to go with you. The giant was impressed with her manners. He picked his cabbages 
and then set her in the sack. She had a small pair of scissors in her pocket and used it to cut a small hole in the sack. She watched the way to his house, cheerfully stepping out of the sack on her arrival. In the morning, drive the cow to the pasture, make the porridge, then comb, card, and spin the wool. Do you think you can do that? asked the giant. I will do my best, she answered. Later, she heard a knock at the door. She greeted a strange little fellow with red hair and blue eyes. He looked to be lost and starving. Please, she said, take my porridge. After he had eaten his full, the man saw the wool and said, Let me repay your kindness. After spinning a beautiful length of white wool, he turned and disappeared. The giant was delighted when he returned, saying, Your work is good. Take the ladder and you can visit your sisters in the loft. The next morning, the youngest sister gave the giant his breakfast and begged a favor. Please, sir, there is no one left to help my mother. Would you take her a basket of heather for the cow's bed? The giant was quite charmed by her and agreed. Soon he was on his way and she went back to work. That night he once again praised her work. The next morning the youngest sister asked another favor. Please, sir, would you take this basket of grass to my mother for fodder for the cow? The giant cheerfully lifted the basket and carried it right to her mother. He came back to a sparkling house saying, Tomorrow you can let your sisters come down and help you. That will be beautiful, the girl replied. But I have another favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, would you take this basket of myrtle to my mother, she would be so grateful if you could get it to her early. The giant agreed. Early the next morning, he lifted the basket to his shoulder and went to the cottage. He set it by the garden and left. The youngest daughter got out of the basket and ran to the cottage greeting her mother and joining her sisters that the giant had unwittingly carried home. After many hugs, they sat down to breakfast. Just then, a messenger from the king knocked at the door. The king, who had a change of heart, invited the queen and her daughters to return to the palace. They finished their meal, gathered their belongings, and climbed into the waiting coach. As for the giant, he expected to find the three sisters hard at work. Instead, he found a cold fire in an empty house. He rushed back to the queen's cottage, where he could not find the sisters or a single cabbage. The queen and her daughters had carried away every last one. <laughs> I guess this is the end. Uh, here we have some questions and some words. Courageous, brave, to be not afraid of danger, a moor, uh, an unplanted open field or marsh, unwittingly, not done on purpose, happens by accident, widowed, 
to be left alone due to a woman's husband dying. What do you think? Question one. Why did a queen and her three daughters live in a cottage and grow cabbages in a garden? Question two. What happened to the princesses when they stayed out to catch the cabbage thief? Did the third daughter go willingly with the giant? Why? Question three. The giant gave chores to each princess. How did the giant feel when he came home after the third princess was to do her jobs. Question four. How did the younger princess trick the giant? What happened when he carried the baskets of grass and heather to the queen's cottage? So this is the end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Please write some comments if you enjoyed it. And remember that reading is fundamental. And this is your host, Randall Fields. Goodbye.